perfect, thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. So, these things that we are being told just don't work. They're going to keep you frustrated. I think the one that has been, oh, perhaps the most uh, thought-provoking and has inspired the most emails. Um, I released an audio some time ago, and the, the question was, what constitutes a male? What constitutes a female? And I presented um, an audio, and I said that in the womb, in the first stages of life, every single human embryo begins as a female. That is not my, my idea, that's not my belief, that's not my concept, that is reality. That's We're all girls concept. together. Yeah, okay. We are all originally females. And if it weren't for the bathing of the testosterone, these, all of these embryos would naturally become females. So, testosterone, testosterone goes in and it changes the embryo and you become a male. So my statement was, Every male in this world is an altered female. Boom! I did not say that men were gay or effeminate, and then I did not in any way diminish their masculinity in the sense that, you know, it's, it's how you behave in, the, in, the, in society. What I said was, every male is an altered female. That is a fact. It is not a belief, it is not a concept, it is what the biologists and, and all these doctors, this is what they say. Okay, it's a scientific fact, it's not an opinion. Well, of course, I got uh, a lot of emails, oh, no, 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 you don't understand. What counts is that there is an X chromosome and a Y, and a y chromosome. Every X chromosome is female, and if this individual has a Y chromosome, then it is a male. So, they're not... You know, we're not altered females. We have a Y chromosome. Well, all right, to begin with, 20, 30,000, excuse me, 240 million, 320 million years ago, somewhere in that vicinity, every single cell was an X chromosome cell. Something happened. Look up about the X chromosome and the Y chromosome, and it'll tell you. 300 million years ago, there were nothing but X chromosomes. Something happened. The X allele became a Y chromosome. It lost one of its arms. But let's, let's, let's assume that having a Y chromosome proves you're a male. Well, did you know that one in every 20,000 men have no Y chromosome in their genes? One in every 20,000 men has no Y chromosome. If Y chromosome defines a male, therefore these men who have the appropriate plumbing, they are not males. So the question again becomes, what is a male, what is a female? And I will argue that males on this planet are altered females. I did not diminish who you are, I did not attack your character, I think you're a fine individual as you are. But nevertheless, in the beginning, we were all females and we were altered. And those are the kind of things that people need to understand. We have these blindly accepted what we call truisms, and it doesn't hold up. And I try to challenge some of the concepts that we're taught, and like I said, I'm going for the jugular. I said, you know what, it doesn't make any sense. If you think that males and females, you know, males are actually this whole thing in and of themselves, and they're not altered females, okay, that's fine, go away. Um, and, and what I am trying to do is to say, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to present you with a whole new way of thinking. And a lot of these truisms that you get, we're accepting them. And you know what? It's not going to work. You're going to be frustrated. What you need to do is to get rid of listening to the outside world and letting it guide you. We need to get rid of all of this stuff that has been foisted upon us, these burdens that, that are placed on us that say, act like a man, you know, and act like a lady. Again, I have audios and I'm saying, you know what? The reason they did that was that, so that the men in power could control the men who were in their kingdoms and the women who were in their kingdoms. Um, the, the network, the... Uh, the Dark Lodge. Um, yeah, oh, see, I call them the men in power. Men in power. Men right. of power, men of yes. Power. Who, they're the society that tells you, you know, this rule and that rule, and this is the way society should be, and this is the way that you should act. These are the people that created the civilized world. Yeah. And 
I rail against that. And one of the things that I hope to do is to persuade what, what I'm calling the ladies of fire to step forward and not let society place these rules upon you that say this is the way you have to act, this is the way you have to behave. And I'm going to do the same thing for men of fire. I said, okay, look, let's stop blindly accepting these things. We need to know what these concepts really mean, what these words are really about. There are so many parallels throughout the cultures or primitive cultures. And what I love calling primitive cultures because primitive means basically it's undomesticated, it's uncivilized, it hasn't been tainted and disciplined. In the wild world, in the primitive world, you know, one last thing, because I know you want to ask, have questions. Oh, I could listen to you for hours. You know, our religions, so many of our religions and our philosophies are based on what happened thousands of years ago. The Bible, supposedly the New Testament, 2,000 years ago. The Old Testament, maybe, maybe 30, what, 3,100 uh, 3, years ago. So many of the other scriptures, based on what happened thousands of years ago, okay? Let's assume that these individuals somehow did have a connection with the divine, whether it was through a discipline or whatever, whatever the reason, however they did it. Did they do it with technology? No. Did they do it with satellite dishes, with computers, with any sort of electronic equipment? Absolutely not. There was only one instrument that they had to make a connection with the divine, to be able to practice shamanic uh, supernatural powers, to be able to survive in a wild world where you didn't have guns and weapons and shelters. There's only one instrument they had, and that was their body. That was their body. Their body was the drum maker, it was the art maker, it was the music maker, it was the shelter maker, it was the life maker. And the secret to the mysteries of the universe, the secret to the mysteries of this world, lie in the human body. And as I said earlier, the original human body, and I will argue still, was the female body. So much of the secret societies, the religions, and the disciplines, the philosophies, the shamanic practices are all based upon the female body and gentlemen we have that body but the point is it's not technology it's not science it's not these new advances that are going to connect us with what i believe is our destiny not in the stars beyond the stars that one instrument is our bodies it's what's going is going on inside you you have a fire stallion and the question is who's going to guide that stallion are you going to ride it to your fate, or is someone going to put your stallion behind its plow? Thank you, sir, for allowing me to go on and on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Robert. This is, uh, this is such a... I'll, I'll, stop, I'll stop going on about it. It's brilliant.